Hi, hi, it's Yvonne. It's a great day. Let me tell you why. I just dropped off taxes. Yes, 2023 taxes, mission accomplished. I'm at New Horizons. We're gonna go in and see what we can find to save money, make money, have a little bit of fun. I'll see you inside. Hi, oh, man. So, got my pickled okra. We're good. There was some jewelry up front and I did pick out some bracelets. These are kind of clampers. Those are so cute. One's gold and turquoise, I mean silver and turquoise, and one is gold tone, of course, and pink. And I like these. I think these are cool. I'm gonna get those. So let's see what else is over here. I'm wiped out just about of jewelry at my booth. That's so awesome to know that I can sell jewelry out of there because I do have plenty of it but I'm still gonna look it's not that hard to store and since it's selling nicely you get to do it that looks more like an anklet or for large wrists you know what I might get that because that's an extra large size shells I might get that it's harder to find larger sizes like that let me get that. This one looks a bit larger too. That's pretty. I think I'll get that too. It's a good price. Sloth is in there. Oh, it's a picture of a sloth. Haha. Uh -huh. Hello. <laughs> hey, that's kind of cool for a watch. Uh, hardly anybody wears watches anymore. I don't. I stopped a long time ago. I mean, you've got cell phones, so I don't really feel like I want to have that cumbersome. But I'm still looking at them, aren't I? Okay, stop. <laughs> No, it's got a vintage vibe, but it's a stretch, so it's not. Look, guys, doesn't hurt to look for guys too. I sell some guys, men's type jewelry. Leaning. I don't know how to say that without sounding sexist, but you know. Hey, that's kind of different. That stuff out of India or Pakistan, that area of the world. Kind of like a dream catcher it's costume, though, you guys. Let's see what we got going on here. I just like those floral beads on that. <laughs> chokers. Gotta look at the chokers, see if there's one I might want. What's this wrap chunk? Let's see if I can isolate that. <laughs> okay, got one now. There we go. Hmm. Kind of interesting. There's a blue one. I don't have a blue choker. Hmm. Got a little stone on it too. I think I like that. It's only 99 cents. I don't have a blue choker. It's got a little carved heart stone on it. Let's see this. That's interesting. Yeah, that looks like a better piece right there, like a Chica's or something, $3.99. It could be like a paparazzi. Let's see what the dangle says. That's a lucky brand, isn't it, with that on there? I'm going to pull this, but I'm not sure. I like the back of it, too. I'm not sure if that's going to lay right when we're wearing it. Oh, boy. That's a flashy piece. It's real trinkety, like really cheaply made, but it's got it's got Middle Eastern vibes, doesn't it? Thailand, Middle Eastern type vibes. Let me go lay this on the counter and see how that, if it lays right. And then we will go back to hard goods. Hard goods. <laughs> Knickknacks or tchotchkes, as some say. Resin, that's that new resin stuff. 
It's missing its lid. I just always kind of like to see the name, see if I learned something. Look at this pie. That is a fabric pie. It's got potpourri in it. But that is made of fabric. Just little cuties. Just have, mostly just having fun. Something's going to have to be really great. Or something I've sold and can replace. $3.99. I already have one of these at the booth. Let's see here. Red color is on sale. And then we have a loaf of bread. Fake food is sometimes <laughs> sellable. I'm not really liking the way that one looks. I'm a little curious. Those are still here. I'm kind of fond of those sconces. So I noticed that they haven't really been having as many knickknacks here at this location. Is that a snow baby? That's a big one though. That's a copy. I'm going to say, why are you so big? Copycat. Come up with your own stuff. Some people just aren't creative enough. They just have to copy. Hey, that's a metal fish. 99 cents. I'm going to have to pick that up for my mom. She likes that kind of stuff, you guys, for her back patio wall. I either have to edit it out of the video <laughs> or buy it for her. Anyways, what I was saying is I noticed they're doing like the Goodwill tried and stocking up on like new stuff, like new Dollar Tree stuff. Look, that whole row too, that's kind of a bummer because I didn't come here for that. Like we don't come to the thrift stores for stuff that, quite frankly, $3.99. You can get cheaper at the Dollar Tree. I don't really understand. All right, never mind. Stay in my lane on that. Okay, let's come back around. It's a flamingo. That's a plastic flamingo. Thomas Kincaid. Okay, that's kind of cute. Is that a false graph or something? That's kind of a cute little picture, isn't it? Got a few nicks on it though. That's a shame because that's kind of cute. That's different. Let's not buy stuff that's cheap. Unless it's, you know, personal, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to do the crack in the back thing just because I love it so much. <laughs> Dang, that was all the knickknacks. That's alright. I've got how many other thrift stores in this town? Too many to get to all in one day, I can tell you that. Floral vases. Lots of floral vases. This one's a little different. Someone painted it on the inside. Okay, that was kind of uneventful, sorry. It's kind of a pretty, what, 80s vase. I like the light blue, almost periwinkle. The problem with these are um, they're glass and they're reverse painted on the inside and if you're not careful when you're doing your arrangements or handling you scrape off that inside flash and then it's not so cool anymore but it is only $4.99 I'm gonna pass on it but that's really pretty with, that's really pretty with the relief on it this place is always good for furniture though that is for sure this is where mom and I have gotten a lot of good furniture Oh, I like this kind of stuff. It's only a dollar ninety-nine. I mean, it's not super, super detailed, but it's a very darn good effort. Oh gosh, I need to quit adding to my collections because I'm actually going to clean some of it out this year, you guys. I think I had a little bit too much fun the last few years when I decided, you know, to add vintage to my portfolio, shall we say. And then I was like, oh, I need all these swung vases. Oh, I need this. I need that. I'm going to have to like, get real. I'm almost done setting up Dad's room. And I, and some things are just going to have to find a new home. But it was sure fun to collect them. I can tell you that. 
And I think some things I'm going to let go. Serving dishes. Sina Casa and things like that. Anchor Hawking. I see something I like. These are those snack trays. But gosh, the color is what's getting me, right? $1.99. Okay, with everything I just said, I guess it's null and void, because now I want those. I hope I can find the cups, but really, I want to use them for white swan Christmas. That would be so cool, right, to set in some of the swans. I might get them, or I might have a little bit more discipline and be like, you know, finish rearranging and figure out what you have, what you're going to keep. <laughs> And then, and then you know, go from there. But get a handle on things. And that's kind of what I like to do in these cold months. And got a lot done over the weekend, that's for sure. Swizzle sticks, glass, but there's one missing. Okay, we are definitely going to want to hit another thrift store today. Moseying around furniture. I just wanted to come back and look at this one particular 179 all lit. Yeah, that's a higher end one. That would be good for someone in a booth. Let's see. Or a large home or a business. Like a spa or something to sell product. Uh, it's almost $200 and it lights up. I don't do brown. Anyways, I just wanted to look at it. It's kind of. Oh. Hi. <laughs> it's just kind of interesting. These vintage chairs. I can't tell if those have been refinished or not. These are kind of cool. That would look good in a certain theme, right? You would have to recover them or try to finish the leather so it all matches the same shade again. And you have to hope it doesn't come off on your pants. Yeah, so that's no. Wait a minute. Never mind. Those are Naga Hide. <laughs> I would just re redo them if I wanted something like that. But that's kind of a cool look. The right theme, that would be awesome. Well, that's a sad thrifting situation. <laughs> that's all right. It's not always winter every visit. But I will tell you, if you're local, today's, what, the 24th, 25th, 26th, I don't know, Blur's Day, um, they are having a sale on all that, all their winter stuff. So I think we'll just check out. Eat some pickled okra. And I'll just head up the street. There's thrift stores either direction that I go. You know, sometimes thrifting like a pro means knowing what not to buy. Like, don't peck for profits. It's pick for profits, as one of my friends would say. This is how you build up a death pile that you end up having to rent storage units or just redonate back to the thrift store later. So, yeah, thrifting like a pro means knowing what not to buy, when to stop and move on. So I'll see you guys on the next video up at the Ark of the Goodwill.